and welcome back to our channel. Today we give you a piece of commentary from a body language expert. Meghan Markle's hypocrisy was exposed to the public in her latest interview. Meghan was trying to be noteworthy and newsworthy while trying too hard to be too casual with an aged icon. Gloria Steinem is 86 years old, and while she might have fully competent mental capacities, usually by that age, the mind does slip just a smidge, if not more. I doubt Steinem knew who Meghan Markle was before they were introduced at a lunch together. I thought the clip looked forced and awkward. Megan made a reference to their lunch together, and while Steinem and Markle have known each other for a month, for Megan, this must be what a long term friendship looks like for her, since she drops friends so quickly that it makes one's head spin. I did like, see, like seeing Gloria Steinem, and she made a few comments, but Megan did most of the talking. Gloria Steinem gave Megan a gift of a bracelet that read, We are linked, not ranked. And while Megan fawned over this gift, she made certain to use her title, Duchess of Sussex, which is a rank as much as possible. Megan's hypocrisy is on full view yet again, because if she didn't care about her rank, Megan would give up her Duchess of Sussex uttering and just use plain old Megan. I keep thinking it's so funny to see the very non royal Megan cling to her Duchess title as though it's very precious to her. I doubt the owner will carry the title a year from now. Back to the Markle Steinem visit. The two friends, as Megan calls them, sat in two chairs at Megan's new mega mansion. And while Gloria remained steadfastly elegant and poised, Megan resorted to wearing her hat, taking it off, kicking off her shoes, tucking her legs around her, then untucking. And then Megan's dogs had to run to her, showing the unwise how loved she is by the dogs, by Steinem, by Harry, the ultimate feminist. I can only conjure up images of a whipped man. Sorry, but that's where my mind goes when Megan says this stuff about hostage Harry. We bought the whole Meghan must be wonderful because Queen Elizabeth Corgis liked Meghan and the Queen liked Meghan, we thought. So Meghan was cozily tucked into the bosom of the royal family with her gushing about the welcoming Cambridges and Prince Charles. Yeah, that was a load of lies and I bought into it once, but not again, no thanks. Meghan isn't friends with Steinem. They happen to have met along the way, but Meghan will name drop the old feminist to suit her cause du jour voting, black people or biracial people voting, and women voting. Steinem seemed unimpressed. There were plenty of awkward silences, reminiscent of Meghan and Harry's engagement interview. Meghan used her salad and it was get a better understanding. Is Meghan not fully engaged and cogent? Does she not understand in full what Gloria Steinem is supposed to represent? The feminist movement, which I watched unfold in my mother's generation, played out already. So what does Megan not understand about what happened to women feminists in the 1970s? Women vote. Great. Move on. The only interesting bit was watching Megan showcase the grounds of her mega mansion. She tried too hard. Again, just keep it natural and don't try to impress. That's what this all looked like, Megan impressing people with her life. Her luxurious land, garden, property with her nine-bedroom home just visible. All I kept wondering was, just who is going to fill up all those bedrooms? Not the royal family, not Megan's family, celebrities? who are all starting to squeeze in their filming before if a second wave of COVID hits this winter, are they going to show up? Harry and Adele? Who? I think about having 16 or 20 toilets and wonder if 20 people flushed at the same time, would something awful happen? I guess focusing on Megan just isn't as interesting. Remember when Megan made tea and avocado toast for her dearest friend, her makeup artist, and that was inside Frogmore Cottage? Why not offer some tea while sitting out in the warm August sun? Or if you like, everything Megan wore is for sale, with Megan receiving more freebies for the mentions. I still want to see that avocado toast. Oh, the Soho dinnerware. You see how little this talk really meant? It's all about the tea, toast, and toilets. 
Gloria Steinem let her story run for 24 hours and then she dropped it from her social media account. That's what I mean about this conversation not meaning a whole lot. It was two new friends talking about old times, except Megan wanted to talk. Steinem obliged. I do appreciate all Steinem has done for women, truly. Thank you, Gloria, because your voice gave my mother a voice. By the time I voted, it was normal and accepted. Gloria helped lead the charge of the feminist movement, and much was accomplished. But that was in the 1960s, 70s, and maybe 80s. By then, I feel like women all around me were crashing through that glass ceiling. So what did Megan try to add to what this feminist icon has already said and done? And I keep thinking, poor Gloria was likely thirsty, and an iced tea could have been a kind gesture. Maybe Ms. Steinem was suggesting to Meghan that she stop using her title constantly while criticizing the royal family at every turn. In my opinion, Steinem may have been calling her out. Watching the exchange between the two was painful, especially with Meghan referring to herself by her title. Meghan might gain some respect if she stopped depending on her title and tried to be successful on her own. With Prince Harry in tow, she would still get a royal bump in popularity without having to be so obvious. Better yet, the two should just stick to being Harry and Meghan. When I first saw a clip of the two, I thought, I hope this will be an interesting interview. But it quickly became apparent that the Duchess was creating a photo op to showcase her new lifestyle and using an icon to boot. I wonder if Steinem was being a little ironic in emphasizing that women should be linked and not ranked. Steinem uses her social media to meaningfully communicate and educate. It's no wonder that the photo op was scrubbed from Steinem's account. It was meaningless. Do you really think she did absorb the meaning of the word? I'm sure she was looking at the carrots if they were gold or at the purity of the silver. The bracelet will be discarded as she did with Harry's little matching bracelets. It's a shame Megan did most of the talking in the released video. Gloria actually contributed to change in the US via the feminist movement, and it would have been interesting to hear her speak more. I was appalled, again, when Megan suggested that they talk about the accomplish accomplishments of Steinem and all of us in her generation because, as Megan said, people don't even know about it anymore. She has the brain of a cabbage. Megan wants to lead, and she doesn't have a clue where we're going or where we've been. That was a careless insult to a true leader who, by the way, outshines Megan at twice her age. That was a slap to Gloria Steinem. Gloria Steinem's accomplishments will never be forgotten. However, Duchess Meghan's interview with her has already been deleted from her site. Enough said. A lot of us in the UK want the real Prince Harry back, not the Markled Harry, but the Harry we all loved and, and respected. But I'm starting to think Harry will never be the same man we all cared about. I'm confused how a D actress on a television series becomes the expert of all current issues just because she captured a sadly unaware prince. Did this make her suddenly the one with the answers who now has the obligation to tell the world what to do and how to act? Why are people like Steinem giving her the time of day? I also made the comment elsewhere that I wondered if Gloria was having a subtle dig at Megan giving her that bracelet with linked and not ranked engraved on it, seeing as Megan is only where she is today because she married a man with a title. If Megan wants to know about feminism, she could look at her grandmother-in-law for inspiration. Bloody hell, Megan Markle, what a mistake, as if dressing for the 70s didn't give it away. Another royal expert expressed this opinion. I remember quite well the uproar Ms. Steinem caused and the results. I was a teenager in the mid to late 1960s. For me, this was just another fluff piece to highlight Ms. Markle. If women are to be linked, not ranked, her keeping and using her title is hypocritical, self-defeating, and proves that she would be nothing without it. Meghan Markle has attention deficit disorder, personality disorders, including narcissism. She talks and loves her own voice. She never wants to listen, shabby hair. I think I saw her checking her phone when that's an absolute no-no. 
Wonder what her bootlickers will have to say about that. Not sure what narcissistic group she falls into yet, but she could be the worst kind of narcissist you can get. Of course, Megan did most of the talking, as usual. She needs to learn how to hold a conversation. She needs to let the other person talk to and a conversation goes back and forth. Maybe she's a nervous talker, being nervous and just rambling her salad lingo. I don't think she is, but maybe. As soon as I saw a photo, I was looking at the hat Megan decided to wear. It's strange because I read while she lived in Britain, it was like pulling teeth to get Megan to wear a hat. And now I noticed how many times she puts her hand off, then on, and then off again. What's up with that? Megan's busy trying not to find such a feminist icon everywhere. While her husband's homeland, there's going to be grandma-in-law, a powerful woman in power, standing, ruling the empire for more than six decades. And she said that her husband's family, where a feminine figure is in charge, is toxic? Laughable. And again, painfully embarrassing to observe Megan's stunning lack of manners. Here she twitches in the huge landscape that is her garden while doing a shoddy job of hostessing an American feminist icon who at age 86, I'm sure, definitely would have appreciated a freaking glass of water, right? Perhaps with a tiny wedge of lemon if the soon-to-be former duchess could spare it. How about you? What do you think of Meghan Markle's hypocrisy? Please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share with your own followers. And as always, subscribe to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.